First, we'd like to discuss the origins of the coconut. To begin with, a man by the name of O.F. Cook hypothesized that the coconut originated in the Americas, which was based on two beliefs. One, that the American coconut species predated European contact. And two, that pantropical distribution by ocean currents was improbable. Other historical figures also became involved, including Norwegian adventurer Thor Heyerdahl, who theorized that the coconut originated in South America. With respect to paleontology, the most ancient fossils of the modern coconut date back 34 to 56 million years ago. Clearly, this insinuates the possibility of different locations of origin, and thus does not suggest an exact foundation with complete certainty. Moving on to coconut morphology, there exist two distinct scientific forms of the cultivated coconut. Nuikafa, which has a triangular and elongated shape with a large proportion of fibrous husk, and Nuivai, which is a brightly colored and round-shaped fruit with liquid endosperm. The Nuikafa form is interpreted as a more ancestral morphology. In addition to that, the coconut can be classified into two varieties, talls and dwarfs. Talls have lengthy stems and are later bearing as well as cross-fertilizing. Dwarfs, on the other hand, are short-stemmed, precocious, and self-pollinating. Dwarfs are also the more highly domesticated form due to its low genetic variation and high degree of occurrence near human habitation. In a recent DNA analysis of coconut cultivation, the deep history of the coconut was decoded. It is important to first define the importance of deep history. As an intellectual discipline, deep history encourages scholars to collectively understand a common narrative, thus using a wide range of combined experiences to simplify historical complexities. In this case, the convoluted narrative is the coconut's birth, which, through a thorough examination, resulted in three key findings. One, the coconut has retained clear population structure on an international basis. Two, it arose from independent domestications in both the Pacific and Indian Ocean basins. And three, coconuts in the Pacific were transported to the Indian Ocean through prehistoric trading routes connecting Asia to Africa. Here is a map illustrating the origins of the coconut which is noticeably influenced by human-mediated dispersal and domestication. Lastly, human activity largely influenced the cultivation and dispersal of coconut populations, which will be discussed for more specifically in the migration topic. It is also interesting to note that coconuts originating from the Pacific Oceanic Basin had already been introduced to the Indian Ocean 2,250 years ago. As a result, coconuts that researchers have collected from the Indian Ocean We now talk about the migration of the coconut. The migration of the coconut began sometime between 2000 and 3000 BC when the Polynesians discovered it and the coconut would continue to migrate until 800 BC. In this map, the blue arrow showed the navigation routes taken by the Polynesians. Re research shows that while coconuts were probably on the coast of the Indian Ocean when the earliest humans migrated from Africa to Asia, then from Asia to Australia. In Australia, while coconuts were present in parts of Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. The history of the coconut in Asia began with the Philippines in the 17th century when Spanish colonizers carried the nut during their voyages. Once they arrived in the Philippines, they passed an edict requiring each Indo to plant 200 coconut trees. Therefore, human activity played a key role in the spread of the coconut becoming integral in the culture and religion in countries in Asia, namely the Philippines, India, Sri Lanka, and Vietnam. The coconut is very significant in Asia. In the Philippines, the coconut is called the tree of life because it feeds, protects, and heals. In India, the coconut dates back to the Vedic period, around 3000 BC. Coconuts are commonly offered to Hindu gods and goddesses. For Hindus, coconut is both a symbol of fertility and an auspicious fruit that brings good luck. Some devotees break as many as 808 coconuts at a time for prayer, while thousands of coconuts are broken every day. In Sri Lanka, the coconut dates back to 2300 BC and coconut flowers are prominent in Sri Lanka during Buddhist weddings. Finally, in Vietnam, a now discontinued religion, the coconut religion, was founded in 1963 and has 4,000 followers at its peak. The, co the coconut is clearly the source of protection for nature and plays a central role in traditions and religion. Coconut migration and coastal trading routes in Asia Many interpretations of the history and role of the coconut in Asia
The coconut has had many uses over the years. More specifically, in the modern world, the coconut has had some interesting utility. Evidently, the most practical use for the versatile fruit would be in culinary. When the coconut is young, it contains water that can be consumed. Up until the 19th century, Europeans recognized the coconut's utility for wooden sailing ships. Sailors could have fresh water to use, and on top of that, coconut fiber was a key ingredient used for repairing ships. A significant event that increased consumption in non-tropical habitats was when Englishman J.W. Bennett's work titled A Treatise on the Coconut Tree and the Many Valuable Properties Possessed by the Splendid Palm uh, was published. He highlighted the health benefits of consumption as well as other uses, such as utilizing the root for medicinal purposes, using the charcoal from the shell as a tooth cleanser, and removing wrinkles with coconut water. This, paired with a blossoming European pastry business, made the coconut highly desired. A French company set up an operation to meet demand and were shipping six thousandths of tons of shredded coconut by the early 1900s. Coconut oil also had significant utility. In the UK, Price's Candles used their discovery of ut utilizing coconut oil to create a brighter and cleaner candle to grow into one of the biggest candle makers in the world. Coconut oil also saw a very valuable use in products such as soaps due to its properties on human skin. Finally, the coconut has been used for rituals of the sort. For example, starting in 1901, Zulu coconuts are thrown at Mardi Gras in New York to represent the coconut tree. We are now going to discuss the growth of the coconut and culture. Coconut plays a huge part in South and Southeast Asian cultures, especially India, Thailand, Sri Lanka, and the Philippines. In India, the coconut's popularity stems from its ancient importance in cultural life. This is because the coconut palm was allegedly one of the five Defravikshas, or godly trees. The coconut was also likened to Brahma, the creator of the universe, meaning the coconut came before humans and creation in Indian society. It was considered the preferred fruit of all the deities and was present in all rituals, including weddings, births, festivals, buying a new house, or opening a business, as it symbolized the breaking of the ego and removal of negativity. Apart from ceremonial uses, coconut was called Arogaya Vardhak, or health enhancer, as it was used in the preparation of many Ayurvedic medicines and in other alternative medicinal systems. As a fruit of prosperity, or Shrifal, coconut also provided affluence as a food product in India. The tree yielded fruit with refreshing water, but also kernels used in a variety of Indian curries, chutneys, and vegetable dishes. In Thailand, the coconut's emergence as a cultural icon can be traced through the commodity's origins in dishes and customs. Thai cooks, many of them associated with the royal court, transform foreign elements and cooking techniques into distinctly Thai dishes by combining them with ingredients like coriander root, lemongrass, tamarind, and coconut. As dairy was not a main element in the Thai diet, the creaminess, sweetness, and fat elements came instead from coconut. In Buddhist and Brahmin religious ceremonies, coconut juice was, offered, was used for offerings. More specifically, coconut was vital in Thai funerals, where monks would break a coconut and pour the water on the face of the deceased, followed by relatives and friends saying their final goodbyes. Coconuts also hold a prestigious position in Sri Lankan society, for the commodity is interwoven with the culture and traditions of its people. The coconut grew from a subsistence crop to a plantation crop after the arrival of British colonial powers, who demanded the cultivation of coconut in their colonies. The coconut also emerged in many parts of Sri Lankan society. People seeking enlightenment lighted coconut oil lamps in the thousands across Sri Lanka at Buddhist temples and Hindu kovals. The king coconut used in Sri Lankan Ayurvedic treatments is naturally sterile, and people use coconut milk daily in main dishes, desserts, and beverages. Today, water inside the coconut is a common thirst quencher and is also used in alcoholic cocktails. Immigrants from the Indo-Malayan archipelago introduced coconut to the Philippines in the early 12th and 13th centuries. A quota was instituted for coconut production, with a high cost penalty or imprisonment for failure to comply. However, World War II isolated the U.S. from resources in the Philippines because of Japan's control over the country, and instead, Europe became the main market for coconut. Since coconut has been a primary export of the Philippines for hundreds of years, its natural descendants use it in good society. Builders use it to build and use it in construction materials, craftspeople use coconut and other items for construction and upholstery, and cooking and baking tools. Furthermore, the coconut is also used for cooking and snacks, which are usually made from the coconut oil and are also used in Indian cuisine.
Coconut oil is made up of about 90% saturated fats and is now known to be extremely important to health. Although overconsumption of this type of fat has been linked to high cholesterol, there have been many studies that show the advantage of using it. The highest concentration of fat within the coconut is lauric acid and is known to be a good type of cholesterol as it protects the cardiovascular system. Dr. Bruce Fife has discussed that coconut oil contains 20% less calories than other fat, which makes it a good way to reduce calorie intake. Coconut oil has been medically used to treat patients suffering from seizures who are very sick. Coconut water is an extremely healthy drink that comes from inside the coconut. Coconut water has almost no fat and provides a healthy source of protein and vitamins. It is also a source of minerals and provides the same amount of potassium as a whole banana would with less than half the carbohydrates. Fresh coconut water has an impressive amount of electrolytes making it the perfect drink to replace lost fluids. It is often used in cases of heavy sweating, vomiting, and diarrhea as the contents within the water help the body absorb fluids faster than regular water. Because of the electrolytes, it is often associated with Gatorade and Powerade as a sports drink to help rehydrate. This coconut craze was associated with an introduction of various coconut-related products such as coconut oil, coconut flour, coconut milk, and coconut water. Each of these products became extremely popular with consumers because of the continued scientific research showing the health benefits of coconut products. Consumers were also enticed by these products because they are gluten and dairy free and there has been an increase in allergies and intolerance to dairy and gluten products. The coconut industry has dealt with major health challenges when trying to market towards the North American consumers. In the late 1950s, coconut was associated with a negative perception due to its high degree of saturated fat. This negative perception started when a researcher in Minnesota revealed that hydrogenated vegetable fats cause heart disease. The edible oil companies argued that it was only the saturated fat in hydrogenated oil that was the problem and changed its projects to only partially hydrogenated fats. This led to consumers avoiding coconuts and continued into the 1980s and 1990s where U.S. companies in the domestic fats and oil industry focus its efforts on driving down usage of coconut products and especially coconut oil. During this time, the FDA promoted the consumption of partially hydrogenated vegetable oil and denounced saturated fats and hid the issue with respect to trans fat. This negative perception began to fade between 1988 and 1998. Research came out that saturated fatty acids were better than, for you than trans fat. Additional information was later learned about the many health benefits of coconuts, which led to a coconut craze in North America.